Not only can SoundForge edit audio, but as you saw in the recording class, you can also create audio with the recording tools. Another set of tools enables you to create a different kind of audio, synthesized audio. Close any open data windows and click the New button. Accept the current attribute settings in the New Window dialog and click OK to open an empty SoundForge data window. Choose Tools, Synthesis, and notice the three synthesis options. Choose DTMF, MF Tones from the list. This dialog generates the dial tones that telephone companies use. Enter the phone number that you want to generate into the Dial String field and click OK. The data window now contains the waveforms for the tones you've generated. Play the file to hear the tones. Choose Tools, Synthesis, FM. With the FM Synthesis dialog, you can create complex sounds from simple waveforms. The variety of sounds that you can create with this tool are virtually infinite. The SoundForge help files contain a very good technical discussion on exactly how the sounds are created, so for now let's just experiment a bit to get the feel for the versatility of this tool. Click the Preview button to hear what sound the dialog generates right now. As the sound previews, choose FM Bass from the preset drop-down list. Just to get a feel for a few more of the preset sounds, choose Landing from the list. Then Red Alert. And finally, Organ. Click the Stop button. Let's take a look at how you can manipulate sounds with this tool. Each sound you generate can have up to four components that you can manipulate individually. The radio buttons across the top in the current section dictate which component you will be adjusting with the controls you see below the buttons. For instance, at the moment, radio button number one is selected. You can see that this control has an amplitude of minus 8 dB and a sine operator shape with a frequency of 220 Hz. Now select radio button number two. This component has a different amplitude and frequency. Click radio buttons three and 4 and look at their settings. In the Configuration section, you can experiment with different combinations of the four components. Click Preview and drag the Configuration slider all the way to the left. This plays only the first component of the file. Try different configurations and notice how drastically different the sounds are based simply on the configuration you choose. Reset the configuration so that all four components are arranged in a horizontal line. Change the frequency field to 2000 Hz and press the Tab key to finalize the change. And hear how it affects the sound. Reset the frequency to 220 Hz and press the Tab key. Select radio button number 4. Set the frequency of this component to 2000 Hz and notice how this sounds different than when you changed the frequency of component number 1 a moment ago. Click the Stop button. You should be getting the idea now of just how much possibility lies in this tool for generating customized synthesized sound. Choose Organ again from the preset drop-down. The graph just below the radio buttons gives us another dimension of control over synthesized sound. Here you can control the amplitude of the current component over time. You might use this to create a tremolo or warbling effect. Click the Preview button and select radio button number 4. The orange line at the top of the graph is called an envelope. You use the envelope to vary the amplitude of this component at various points in time. Drag the point at the beginning of the envelope all the way to the bottom of the graph and notice how this affects the sound. Drag it back up to the top and then drag the end node to the bottom and you get different results. Drag the end node all the way up again. You can add several more nodes to the envelope, and this enables you to really get creative with the sound. Right-click the middle of the envelope and choose Add Point from the pop-up menu. Drag this new point to the bottom of the graph. Drag the last point to the bottom. Add another new point halfway between the second and third points, and drag it all the way up. All of these adjustments create different results. Select radio button number 2. Add a new point to the middle of this envelope and leave it all the way up. Add two more points, one between the first and middle point, and the other between the middle and the last point. Drag both of these points all the way down. Click the Stop button.
All of these adjustments create variations in the sound that this tool generates. Spend some time experimenting with these tools and see what interesting sounds you can come up with. If you find a sound that you think you might want to use again in the future, save it as a preset so that you don't have to remember how to recreate it. Click the Save As button. In the Save Preset dialog, name the preset My Sound and click OK. Click the preset drop down and notice that My Sound appears as one of your preset options. Select My Sound from the list and click the Delete button to delete that custom preset. Note that you cannot delete the system presets. Choose Wow from the preset drop down list. Click the Preview button. Let's modify this sound a bit, then add it to our file. Change the total output waveform length to 4.0 and press the Tab key. Drag the configuration slider all the way to the right. Choose Start a File from the Insert Waveform At dropdown and click OK. The new sound has been added to the start of the open data window. Play your file to hear what you've got so far. Stop playback. Choose Tools, Synthesis, Simple to open the Simple Synthesis dialog. This dialog generates simple tones and frequency sweeps, such as those that you might want to use to tune a room or test audio equipment. Let's first create a simple tone of 440 Hz. You might include this tone as a reference tone on a recording that you're sending out for duplication. From the Waveform Shape drop-down list, choose Sign. Change the Length field to 5.0 seconds, and change the start frequency to 440. Change the amplitude fader to minus 6 dB. Remember, hold down both mouse buttons to make smaller adjustments with your mouse. Click the preview button to listen to the tone. Click the stop button. You can also create tone sweeps. Select the end frequency checkbox and enter 2000 into the corresponding field. Click the Preview button and listen to the 5 second sweep you've created. Click Stop. Select the Log Sweep button to create a sweep in which the frequency changes along a logarithmic curve rather than a linear one. Click the Preview button. Select End of File in the Insert New Waveform App dialog. Click OK to insert the new sweep at the end of your data window. Play the file to hear your entire creation.